Well, hi there, and welcome again to VSF Recovery Team. Aren't these pictures of you in the Rubicon at Moab, Utah? Yes, they are. And I actually I put together a slideshow of that. Would you like to see? Yeah, I'm sure everyone else wants to. This is where we left the pavement on the first day. Which trail is that? That's the famous Moab Rim Trail. I've seen that trail in your magazines. Isn't that one of the harder trails? Yeah, it has a 4 plus rating, and it's not a good trail for those that are scared of heights, I'll tell you that. I can see why. Well, that isn't even the worst part. Here in this picture, you can see the Devil's Crack. That's the scariest one. Then, shortly after you climb the Devil's Crack, you come to the infamous Z-Turn. Did you get scared? No, we had a good spotter and trail guide. Hey, there's your Jeep. Yep, on the climb I was third in line, but somehow, by the time we got to the top, I was leading the pack. Once we were at the top, we took a short break for everybody to stretch their legs and relax a little bit. Then we made our way across the top of the mesa over to the edge, where we got a beautiful aerial view of the town of Moab and the whole valley. Oh, that is gorgeous. After eating lunch, we toured some of the sites on top of the mesa. Wow, those are cool. Yeah, Moab is famous for its natural stone arches. Then it was time to start the long climb down before it got dark. On the second day, we headed out on a trail called Hell's Revenge. Why do they call it Hell's Revenge? I don't know, but it was full of tough obstacles, like this one here called Tip Over Challenge. It does look like he's about to tip over. Yeah, it does. But if you use the right momentum and don't get too crazy on the skinny pedal, you go right up over the top. After everybody made it up, we headed over to the hot tubs. Hot tubs? Yeah, they're like craters in the rock that collect water in the bottom. That's not the kind of hot tub I like. I know, but they are fun to drive through. You think the wrecker can do that? It would be fun to try. Just like I think it'd be fun to have the wrecker out at Hell's Gates, which was the next obstacle we went to. That climb looks really cool. Yeah, it is, but it's a lot steeper than it looks in the pictures. Wow, I guess that is steep. Yeah, steep enough for somebody in our group to roll over. How did you get that one out without the wrecker? Good question. Well, we secured it with a cable from the top and used lots of manpower. After we got that Jeep running again, then we headed over to this little climb that I'm not even sure had a name. <laughs> what kind of Jeep trick do you call that? I don't know, but he was balanced there after he slid down on a failed climb. I almost ended up in the same position when I failed my first try. Then, after everybody was done playing on that bump, we headed back to the town of Moab. On the morning of the third day, it was time for me to leave Moab and head home, but not before taking a detour through Castle Valley. Ooh, I'd take a detour to get a closer look at that. The road into Castle Valley wasn't very hard for the Rubicon. In fact, I don't even think I clicked it into four-wheel drive. But the rock formations were awesome and made the detour well worth it. Well, how'd you like that? That's beautiful scenery in Moab. Can't wait to take a tow truck out there. Thanks for watching BSF Recovery Team. Maybe someday we'll see you in Moab, Utah.